CataractCoach.com, the cross chop technique, using two choppers to trap and chop the nucleus before putting the phaco probe in the eye. Check it out. Now, our guest surgeon here from Brazil is doing a great job fixating that with one blade and making both incisions at the same time, main incision and paracentesis. Now, you can see it's a pretty white-looking cataract there. A little tripan blue dye is going to go a long way to help with that. Yeah, we sped the video up because we want to just show you all the fun stuff, and you guys like it fast, fast, fast. So let's wash all that stuff off from the ocular surface, get some more viscoelastic in the eye, and let's see this rexus. Now, the cross-chop technique is basically just using two choppers to trap the nucleus and then doing a horizontal chop. Now, to chop the nucleus, you can hold it with the phaco probe and high vacuum and then chop it, or you can just trap it between two instruments, like we're going to show you here, and also split the same nucleus the same way. So some hydrodissection. Nice, generous rexus, by the way. I like the big rexus. You don't want a baby Rex in a white cataract like this that looks pretty dense, too. So more viscoelastic. Now, here's, let's see, the cross choppers. One chopper, two choppers. Putting them in the eye, rotating the nucleus a little bit. And watch this. There's the cross choppers. Both are basically doing a horizontal chop. And if you get the force vectors just right, look, the nucleus doesn't move. And you can split that nucleus. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'll warn you, if you're a new surgeon, a beginning surgeon, done less than 1,000 surgeries, don't try this yet. Just don't. Because you have to have the two instruments perfectly balanced so that the nucleus itself doesn't move and you don't damage any zonular support. But yes, you're able to use this now, look, to break the nucleus up into qu uh, quarters or quadrants. Done! Now let's take a look. A little more viscoelastic. Make sure those pieces are fully separate. Let's see what the phaco probe going in there now. You should be able to bring, look at that, they're separated. You can bring the pieces up. Propagate that chop a little bit better. But this is the double cross chopper technique. You get two choppers, cross them over, and look, you really did make quadrants. And now the quadrants can be removed pretty easily. So again, just another way of, let's say, pre-chopping a nucleus. You can use a dedicated pre-chopper, but you can also just use two choppers like this. Two regular horizontal choppers. These are even ball tips for extra kind of protection there to the posterior capsule. And you can see once that nucleus has been split into four pieces or quadrants, Pretty easy to remove it. Again, the key here is you trap the nucleus between two instruments, and then the instruments are brought together, and so that'll just cut right through and split the nucleus for you. But you have it perfectly balanced. Because you imagine if you're not exactly opposed with the two instruments and you apply some force, it can slip. You can damage the capsule or bag too. So you've got to be careful. This is a technique that you can do if you've done more than 1,000 cataracts. They give you permission to try this on an appropriate patient, nice and gently. If you've done less than 1,000 cases, please just save this one in the back of your mind. That's something you're going to try down the road in the future. So here you go, take on that last piece. Look at that. Ooh, let there be light. Get some light on that macula, finally. Clean up the bag here. Hey, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the actual website. You know there's a free PDF book about cataract surgery? Yeah, totally free. Just download it. 25-part curriculum series. You can find me on all the social media, and you got to check out the podcast. It is so amazing. Every week, a new podcast everywhere you find podcasts, any service, Apple, Amazon, Spotify, Google, YouTube, you name it. All right, here's the end of the case. Finish this thing up. Looks like enlarging the incision slightly. Here comes the IOL. Looks like a three-piece lens. All right, what's our 7L rule? There's the leading number 7 on the haptic there. Oh, there's the patient dancing for you because, you know, a little bit of dancing is okay. And the trailing haptic is the capital letter L. There's 7L rule for you. Get that dialed in and we'll finish up this case. So a little hydration there of the incision. I just love doing a white cataract. You know, something about it where the patients start off with either hand motion vision or if you move your hand fast enough, wind perception vision. And then you can take the patient to basically normal vision in such a fun surgery. It really is a miracle of modern medicine. We're so lucky to be ophthalmologists. I tell you, mm, I just, I, I can't get enough. Here at the end of the case, just doing a good wash around there. Make sure there's no retained lens material or viscoelastic. Get that incision sealed up. And that's a beautiful case. Thank you for watching. Remember, you got to check out the podcast every single week. We literally give you the secrets to ophthalmology. I'm being totally serious. You got to check it out.